Okay, we have our ultra dense furnace. So we plonk this down. And uh, this can be used to make uh, some rare earth metals. So the recipe is 500 raw rare earth metals to make 250 rare earth metals. There is only one thing we have right now that can fuel this ultra dense furnace, and that is the cube. <laughs> That's right. We need to use the cube to fuel our furnaces. God help us all. It's just a single chunky recipe. We gotta put 500 in here, and then we're outputting 250. So I'm just gonna do this. Uh, hmm, how do we wanna do doop 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 doop? That's how we're gonna do it for now. It's fine. So, uh, where do I leave my cube? I left it over here. It's dormant right now. Recharge it. Uh, steam supply is okay. Uh, we stopped the research though, and we're, we're literally about to do mining productivity. Hang on a minute. I gotta put it. I gotta just get the tiny little bit more science we need. Oh, in fact, the tiny little bit more science we need is in my pocket. That should do the trick. I still want to keep it running though, because, uh, no, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. So, we go over here, put it in there. And one use of the cube will do one craft with this machine. And there we go. It also, of course, outputted the cube, which dormant looks like uh, a block of solid fuel. But uh, but don't be fooled. It is the ultra-dense utility cube in all its glory. Yeah, now we've done that, we've got a bit to work with. Let's put this in here for a minute so we can generate some more contemplation cards. Okay, so 250 of this stuff. We could use this to make circuits. Rare earth metals used to make conductive wire, and then basic matter units, rare earth metals, and conductive wire are used to make electronic circuits. Make ten of them to start with, I guess. That will allow us to make some fabricators, and then we can start to get things rolling a little bit. Also, we could make a synthesizer. Oh, but we need uh, n-dimensional widgets to make another synthesizer. Um, and n-dimensional widgets are uh, the cube plus rare earth metals in a synthesizer. Quite a few of them. We'll probably have to... Uh, make some more rare earth metals before we can do that so uh, we're not ready we don't have enough of this built up yet to do that craft again we've unlocked the pump very good a uh, bit of fluid handling very good now working on the fundamental comprehension card for our next level of tech uh, let's make a second fabricator now we're cooking with portals so at this point I'm gonna break up this we're gonna move this out uh, let's stick it up here. You are making pipes. You are making engines. We just fill this with basic matter units and power the thing. And it goes. There we go. Uh, we might not get many pipes from this, but the important thing is we're getting our engines, which is what we actually want. Okay, we built up... Oh, we're about to build up 500 on this, so I'm going to yoink the cube. Uh, carry it over to the machine. And another 250... Let's make two more. More contemplation cards. How's our steam? Uh, we should probably we should top up the steam a bit. Before I forget, I'm going to make two... Whoops, not a steam engine. I'm going to make two pumps. I'm going to break these. Just water anyway. Okay, this I think will work well for uh, rapid... Rapid steam production. It's a pump feeding from a water tank, a pump feeding to a steam tank. That's what we want. And boop. Oh yes, did you see the difference there? Holy crap. Just for a moment it was a blistering pace and then this filled. We can improve this. We can build upon this. I need more pumps. This is what we're doing. <laughs> this tank is now being deliberately drained so that it can rapidly fill. So, there we go. We have a full tank and an empty tank. So now, I've got to recharge it. Okay, and then... Look at that! <laughs> it goes so fast! That is incredible. The thing is that, like, buying any time when it comes to the cube is very important and incredibly valuable. 
Uh, also, looks like we're basically at capacity here now. Not quite. We could do another run, but let's put it back onto uh, contemplation cards. Uh, this is feeling nice. I'm going to block that, actually. Uh, this. Oh, this is ready to go as well. So if we yoink the cube for a second, plonk it in here. Another 250 of that. And get it back on science duty. Uh, though at this point we're just doing busy work for the science, to be honest. We're just finishing it off. Uh, the next research packs are electronic circuits plus n-dimensional widgets. So n-dimensional widgets are the big challenge right now. Um, we make those in a synthesizer using rare earth metals. So we need a, a, a more stable supply of rare earth metals. Right now we're just getting enough that we can like make some more machines and things. Uh, so now what I can do is I'm gonna break all this. Okay, the boss working on that. Uh, belt's gonna run this way a little bit, and then let's do this and this and this and this and this. Gotta make some more of these. Cursed iron chests. And yoink, yoink. Uh, doop, doop, doop. You're making. I just wanted to click that to clear the alert. I didn't actually want to make that. Uh, that, then that. And power. And you know what? We need a buffer. There we go. Slap a buffer on that. Put this on the belt. And this will make wires. They'll go into there. Let's put like a strong limit on this. But there are things we need wires for. So we do need some to build up in there. Uh, and we've completed all of our basic tech. Now we've unlocked... We can now see the next stage of tech. Because we've unlocked the, the next cards. Um, but these are all a problem for future me. We'll think about that when we get to it. Uh, oh, I've missed... Uh, this needs basic maths as well. Damn. Um, for now, we're going to do this janky as hell thing here to make that work. Uh, let's put the rest of these in here, and then I'm going to find the cube and yoink it for a minute. Ah, yes, we no longer need to make these for the minute, so let's actually just switch this completely. We're going to put this on basic matter units, because this can do it, it's just slower. So this recipe is... Um, uh, is it elsewhere? Or is it still... Uh, is it still a one second craft? I guess it... Oh, it is still a one second craft. Yeah, it's the same craft, it's just that now the synthesizer is doing it. Um, so now it uses vast amounts of power instead of my personal time, which uh, is a valid trade-off, in my opinion. So... Uh, well, I guess we can leave those on. But now we need... Let's make a uh, splitter. We can make those now we have circuits. Stick that on there, make a filter for basic matter units. Actually, there's a better way of doing it, if I'm honest, which is filter inserters, so I can cancel that. We're now at the point where we can make filter inserters, so we should. So this is going to specifically pull out the cube. And then cancel you for a second, because you... Well, you now need to pull out basic contemplation cards, actually. So you do that. That can go. And you are going to pull out basic matter units. Uh, now the problem we have is that we can only pull the basic matter units out of the machine so fast. This craft makes a hundred of them in a second. We cannot remove a hundred basic matter units from this machine in a second. So there's going to be downtime on the cube. It's just going to be sat there waiting to get put back in. So uh, what we need is to try and speed it up just with brute force for the moment, and later we will come up with better solutions to this problem. Yes, they are indeed iron chests. They are the only chests I have. You start the game with iron chests, you do not unlock any other kind of chest of, of the one tile size that I'm aware of for the entire game, and it is hellish. Actually, there's a logistics chest, I guess. It's almost like this was made to torture me. 
Uh, right, we're going to get rid of these now. We're going to do this. This, this, and this, and this, this, this. And uh, there we go, a little bit more automation going on. It's, it's starting to exist, it's becoming a thing. Uh, at this point, uh, circuits and engines are being made and we don't have to do anything. I want to actually put a cap on this at this point. Though it doesn't matter that much, we have an infinite supply of basic materials. Like, this is just, we, have, we can make these infinitely because the, the cube just generates this and these are made of it. In this case, we do ultimately need the uh, the rare earth metals over there, so that is a thing. Uh, speaking of, if we can borrow the cube's time. Now, it's significantly hard to borrow the cube's time. I've got to go over here and grab it off the floor. If we can borrow the cube's time, we can stick it in here, make some more of this, because we have uh, seemingly run out. But we've got a, a nice stack of circuits going here. Recharge the cube. There is a cube recharger, but we can't make that yet. We need n-dimensional widgets. That's the key thing right now, is we've got to make some of those. Um, we need to make them in a synthesizer. We can't make them until... like, But they're made in a synthesizer. We've got to use the, the one that we have, basically. Welcome in. I am indeed playing Factorio. Madness. Insanity. But is it Factorio, really? Or is it Ultra Cube? Is Factorio left? Or is there only the cube now? So it's to make five n-dimensional widgets takes 50 rare earth metals, and we need 20 to make a synthesizer, and five to make a recovery base. So I think I want to make 25 to start with. So to make 25, we need 250 rare earth metals. We need to repurpose you for a minute. Also, I need to get the cube back. Mustn't forget about the cube. Recharge that. And I'm going to switch you to n-dimensional widgets and just manually load the thing. Cube is ready. Here we go. Yoink, yoink. And then I've got to charge the cube. This is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, though that said, maybe it doesn't have to be. I can make the recovery bay with the five that I just made. I'm going to build the recovery bay here. Filter inserter for dormant cube. It's all coming together. And then put what comes out back in. Uh, I have the cube on me. There you go. And now it's just going. Now this thing moves faster, I think, than I do at recharging. I think the recipe is a quicker recipe, so it, it takes me, like... It takes me 10 seconds, it takes this thing 2 seconds, that's much better. It's still, still, 2 seconds can be a lot in the grand scheme of things, but it's helpful. Uh, right, that's the crafting done. Uh, it's yoinked, it, it's popped back in there, we'll switch it back to its normal mode. For the moment, you go back to what you were normally doing. Uh, now I can make myself a synthesizer if I get some more stone. We'll insert a note cube from the furnace as well, good thinking! It's literally right there. I didn't even mean to do that, but that would work very well. Um, in fact, yeah, that would be perfect. So... There's a second synthesizer. Now we don't have to keep repurposing the one that we have. We can now just set up permanent functions. Uh, and yeah, they'll always go back into this, but they'll always put back into this machine because uh, this is only going to run one-off times when there's enough capacity in the thing. Okay, let's plunk down the, synth uh, the new synthesizer over here for n-dimensional widgets again. I need some more rare earth metals. We have none. It's all been used. So we'll set up some more mining. I don't care about this being even right now. <laughs> It'd be sneaky. Move that. And this is just gonna skim a little bit of the. Uh... Actually, we can, we can. Not all of these need to run. We can have a couple more of those. Uh, that's gonna load into there, just so that we build up a bit of a supply. It's a bit jank, but the whole thing is jank right now. We're nearly ready to run this. Um, one cool thing I could do is I could set up a little inserter here, that, and it will be for 
the cube and then uh, do some wiring from here to here and to here. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, wait. Can I... Ah, there we go. Okay. And remind me, how much does a full belt hold? Is it eight? Thank you, Vogel, who already knew what I was going to ask. Okay. When... Uh, da -da -da -da. When... Raw rare earth metals equals eight, this will run. And then... Wait, hang on. Do it, whatever. And then this is when uh, it does not equal eight. And then cube. And cube. And look at that. This was built up, so it nicked this. Then it gets put into here. Recharged and goes back into the normal loop until this is ready to go again, which uh, apparently it already is, so maybe there's a bit of an issue with the, with the process there, because... Because this is still full. It's because this hasn't emptied enough for this to fill. Ooh, that's not correct. That's not what we want. Okay, maybe this didn't go quite to plan. Um, I'm, I'm stealing it. I'm putting it in here. <laughs> and we don't have a recharger for this yet. Uh, but I guess if we nick that, then we can make one. There you go, recovery bay. Right now I'm just bodging things on top of other things uh, to make... It work ish. Let's do it in there. And now we're generating n dimensional widgets in some degree of automation. Sort of. We have to put the cube over here to do it, though. Thank you. Okay, now we carry it back because our steam level is getting critically low. Oh boy, gotta get back there quick or the whole thing's gonna fall apart. We left that a bit late. Stick that in there, and that's going to use a fraction of the power it generated to recharge itself so that it can do it again! Job. Glorious cube. Now the only thing we have to worry about is not keeping track of the amount of steam and storage and uh, this being too much, but we could even stop that if we do uh, a little bit of this. Ah, oh, it's too far. You know what? This will work, actually. Uh, you. Enabled condition. Uh, steam. Hmm. Less than a thousand. There's still a chance of an issue, but it's minimal. Like, any amount of power consumption will mean that it's okay. But at this point, our steam supply is nicely built up. It did hold the cube. I'm going to take it back. I'm going to stick it back in here. Let this run for a bit again. Uh, this is ready to, to steal the cube's time, though. Should be okay. But yeah, this ridiculous setup here puts us in a position where we can start to mass produce some of our production material, some of our production buildings, so that we can start to make a larger scale production that will make better use of the cube and also have the space to actually uh, utilize it properly. Um, yeah, we're gonna make some combinators and some wires and such. We've got yeah, we've got some wires. We'll just uh, top that up. Uh, let's make some belts to just pad out our uh, our supplies of materials so we can actually start to build larger stuff because this crammed mess is a, a crammed mess. Let's get our bots doing some uh, some tree clearing. It's not like there's any pollution to absorb or any biters to annoy. So we can just set them to this task while we think about other things. Add a few more water tanks for the first pump. I could. I could. This is all temporary. That's why I'm kind of not, like, making it all work perfectly right now. I'm just trying to make it work well enough for the moment, and then we're going to work out something more long-term. So, yeah, we need, we need mass production of n-dimensional widgets, and that's going to require our, uh, 
rare earth material situation, a rare earth metal situation to get a bit more reliable. Yeah, I'm thinking we clear out this and we start to build something, some big setup here. Compared to the cube, everything is temporary. Very true, very true. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more, and you can catch me live over on Twitch for more Factorio and other Factory games. Link in the pinned comment. I'll see you next time.